Well, good morning. Welcome to this week's uh, Deep Sea Insert. Myself and Rudolf are here down the south coast of Natal. And we're on the sea cat again, the 565 center console. And we are trying to target that, that, uh, that big pelagic today, that nice big wahoo, a sailfish, or, uh, or a nice, nice size cooter. And um, yeah, we're trying to get some bait. Once we get the bait, we're gonna fish with the live bait. The north to south current is screaming. And um, we've got a water temperature of about 23 degrees. It's pretty clean, so the conditions look quite good. Hopefully you get the right bait, and uh, let's get a screaming reel. Well, today we've been battling a little bit for some bait because uh, the, the, the fish aren't really eating, or the bait fish aren't eating, and there's not so many of them on the mark today. But uh, I managed to smuggle one just before Rudolph, so I've got a good bait in the water. And, uh, Getting lucky right now. Well, we've had some funny weather here today. A little bit of a southwesterly came this morning. It was freezing cold. The sun's coming. Time to jack it off. Yeah, yeah, wow. This fish seems to be like swimming with the boat at the moment. Fishing with a live bait and uh, quite slow at first, quite erratic, but um, hopefully he doesn't know he's hooked yet. <laughs> Definitely woke up a little bit there. Getting a bit concerned, I don't know what it was, and then it uh, definitely had a little bit of attitude. I can feel a, a bit of knocking on it, so I know it's an edible fish and not a shark. Yeah, well done, Will. Hey, well this is what we call a king mackerel. You'll see quite a bit of them on the show. We get quite a lot uh, at this time of the year. I'm going to get this one back in the water and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. The reason why I bombed it into the water is full of life and just gagging to get back into the sea. Uh, we get quite a lot this time of the year, just before the sardine season. And uh, when we got nice north to south current, bluish water, they come quite wilder here on the pinnacles. Um, not our target species today. We're looking for that big wahoo or the sailfish, but uh, we'll take the bites as they come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was about a minute. <laughs> On. You got ya. I'm beginning with a pen torque game for series rod and uh, my pen torque 40 reel. Ready for the big fish with this one. This is definitely not a giant, but it's a fish. But a nice choppy sea this morning. Actually, a rough, uh, strong current, but fish out deep sea, they like it. Very lively sea. Fish always feed in these type of waters. Well, it looks like there's lots of these king mackerel or kuta around. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to get this fish out, and then we're going to get another bait, but we're going to go sit a little bit deeper in the deeper water and look for that bigger pelagic. <laughs> I held that fish way too hard there. I was actually, the fish was on the surface and I was trying to keep his head up and uh, the trace parted. That was my mistake. <laughs> what do I do now? Yeah, just grab it, grab it, stack up. Oh, oh two of it. Woo! Selfish! Following the show. Uh, <laughs> I want to cry. Well, what actually happened there? There were three sailies there, and I had the one on properly, and another one got wrapped around my line, and he was jumping. And I thought he was off, but uh, managed to part the leader. That was disappointing. Beautiful to see them jumping, play.
Oh, there we go. The famous last car. Still there. We, we said one more throw. Oh, one more bait, then we're going home. And I put found a live bonnie, put it out. And I actually saw the wow, it looked like a wow come for it. Missed it the first time, turned around and he got it and screamed off. Oh, that was a good bite. We dropped that tail early on and uh, very disappointed that it's I land this fish, it'll make my day. Oh! <laughs> That's the story of our day. That, <laughs> he actually came up and I saw the hook was sitting in the corner of the mouth. I just wanted to drop my rod and he turned his mouth towards me, opened it and the hook came out. But you saw that fish, that was a nice 15 kilo whoa uh, anyway long line release again yeah.